I'm going to spend time on clients, desktop notebooks, all the way to extremely low power, all the way down to milliwatts that will enable getting Intel architecture CPUs into extremely small functor devices that can fit in your pocket. The beauty of all the thing is basically that all this from small handheld that could fit your pocket all the way up to a teraflop machine all running the same base software all accessing the same set of applications all accessing the same internet and I think this is a huge thing that only Intel can deliver. I.O. remain to be limited very much in performance. So I'm happy to talk today that Intel is going to introduce its solid state disk later this year because of its speed to much faster response time of the system and of course it solved a lot of performance issues and the reliability issues that exist on current designs of solid state technology. And with Intel SSD and enabling those, it actually unlocks the power of your processor. So I am very happy to announce the Intel anti-theft technology, which Intel is working together with the industry, notebook OEMs, and all the big names of service providers and security software, ISVs, to make sure that we have a solution that really works on asset and data defense, which means that one of the biggest worry is that if I lose my notebook, if it's being stolen, that the notebook and the data is not going to be maliciously used by people I don't want to use the data on my notebook. So what you see over here is a ZTE-based a base station for WiMAX. This one is done by Huawei. So we are getting ready for WiMAX starting showing up later this year and of course evolving and continuing. You could set your clock to Intel's mobile platform roadmap and you could continue to set your clock according to this one. Doing things so nice, so fashionable, so desirable, requires a lot of great technology underneath it.